Today I have the pleasure of speaking with George Putnam from Scandium International. How are you today, George? I'm fine, Tracy. Thanks. George, I have to tell you, I was so impressed. Scandium International was up 52.63% in 2015, and, and I believe last year, if you were flat, that was considered having a rocking good year. Can you tell me why uh, Scandium International, you think, fared so much better than the rest of the market? Uh, sure. Uh, I, I place uh, most of the credit on the funding, uh, the successful funding that we did in the second half of the year. You know, we raised $3.6 million U.S. Um, we, took in, uh, we took in some investment from Andy Gregg and put him on the board. We also uh, did a royalty deal with Chris Jennings. That uh, 3.6 U.S. is uh, almost, uh, it's, in fact, it's a little bit over $5 million Canadian today. And that just empowered us to go on and do the, uh, the things that we uh, had pledged that we would do uh, in, in the market, which is get, uh, get a definitive feasibility study underway. So we did that. We announced that we, um, um, we contracted with Lyca Podium and, and Altrius Engineering, and we're well, uh, we're well on the way. Uh, to completing that DFS. I'll tell you, George, we had a lot of companies last year that had record-breaking sales. They had money in the bank. They raised a lot more money, but their stocks did not move north. I think perhaps Scandium, Scandium International fared as well as it did because of the interest in Scandium. So what do you think about that? Well, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, the, um, there is a, um, there's, there's a move underway to... Uh, to, in a search for, uh, for, for better, higher performing materials. And aluminum is at the forefront of that. And scandium makes for a better aluminum alloy. So it plays right into that, plays right into that space. And I think there's been an increased awareness through last year and on into this year on that basis. All right, so here's what I want to ask you. George, you are my go-to person for Scandium information. You're an internationally renowned Scandium expert. Can you tell our audience out there who may not be following Scandium as closely as Christopher Ecclestone and Jack Lifton, who both perceive this to be a bull metal, why Scandium is so interesting right now in the market? Well, Scandium enables uh, the formation of a better aluminum alloy. And it does that with, uh, with strength increases. It gives a good strength push to a number of alloys. But it also, and this is most important, Tracy, it adds, it adds a number of properties to aluminum alloys. And it preserves the best properties in aluminum alloys that exist before scandium is put into them. Many, many alloys get stronger but they get more difficult to work with. And scandium preserves the properties and alloys that, that manufacturers like the most. That's, that's, the, um, that's the reason scandium is going to be so important. So, George, if you can, if you could just maybe dumb this down for the investors that may not be scandium or aluminum alloy experts and explain why should we, why should we care? <laughs> well, investors... In, investors have an interesting opportunity here that's unlike other natural resource opportunities. Scandium is not dependent upon world growth rates. Uh, and as investors are looking into 2016 and trying to understand what the world growth rates are going to be like and perhaps that they're going to be low, Scandium represents a better aluminum, a better aluminum alloy, and its growth is completely disconnected to OECD growth. That's a real opportunity that natural resource investors rarely have a chance to participate in. Okay, so in looking at your news flow, and you talked about this at the beginning of the conversation, you had the royalty sale of Ningen, Ningen? how do I pronounce Ningen? this? Ningen. Ningen mm -hmm. and Honey Bugle Scandium Projects last right. year. Yes. Now, you, this was identified as funds that would be used towards a definitive feasibility study. Can you tell us a little bit more about this, uh, this particular deal? Sure. We, um, we did a, uh, a, a royalty uh, based on revenue. It's 0.7% tenths of a percent uh, and it's a very interesting it's a very interesting deal because the royalty investor is with us now for the long term it's a terrific vote of confidence for the project and for the management team the royalty the royalty owner uh, gets his returns if we produce scandium and so uh, it's it, and, and he doesn't leave like a, like a uh, like an equity investor does uh, he's with us and it's a it's a real commitment and of course the uh, Ningen 
Scandium project is supposed to be the first Scandium-only producing mine in the world. Can you tell us what the advantages are about being a Scandium-only mine? Well, this simplifies the flow sheet for us. It lets us focus on Scandium only, which is, uh, which, which is our focus. Uh, it, uh, it lets us right-size the project for the Scandium demand that, uh, that we want to service. And uh, um, it actually uh, also uh, uh, minimizes our capital, uh, our capital costs. So it does a lot of things to keep us laser focused on Scandium and Scandium only, which is what we want to do. And of course, I know that Scandium International has been achieving benchmarks on a regular basis. So what is the timeline for the definitive feasibility study? It's right around the corner, Tracy. It's, um, we, um, we're, we're well on our way towards completion. We've got our CapEx and our OpEx um, pretty well done. We've got our flow sheet finalized. Uh, we're putting together the report, and we plan to complete a report in Q1 of this year, uh, and specifically in March. So what should we, obviously this is what we as investors should expect here in the next quarter or so, so what should we also expect perhaps for the Scandia market in 2016? Well, for us, milestones are going to be um, an environmental impact statement, which comes right around the same time as the definitive feasibility study. We'll focus on um, receiving, applying for and receiving a mining permit, and with that, we'll, be, uh, we'll, be, we'll have everything we need to build this project. In the, uh, in the interim period, and that will take probably six months, realistically, uh, in the interim period, we'll focus on offtake agreements. We want some more of those. We have one. We need a couple more. And uh, we'll also uh, begin discussions on financing uh, the construction of the project. Well, thank you so much for the update on Scandium International, George. It's a pleasure to speak with you. You're welcome, Tracy. Always a pleasure.